The U.S. orders its eligible staff to leave the embassy in Kiev. The decision comes as the U.S. continues to suggest Russia is planning significant military action. Despite a curfew, shots have been heard near the presidential palace in Burkina Faso amid immunity by soldiers. After British MP says she was told she was being sacked from government in part because of her Muslim faith, two senior figures in the cabinet call for a full investigation. Thousands mourn the late Vietnamese monk and peace activist Thich Nhat Hanh, who's credited with bringing mindfulness to the West. And riot police in Belgium have been using water cannon and tear gas to try to disperse a group of protesters in Brussels after a demonstration against coronavirus restrictions turned violent. Officers had been pelted with rocks and pieces of pavement. The entrance to the offices of the European Union's diplomatic service was damaged. Belgium has seen a surge in infections, but with a high level of vaccinations, the health system has not been overwhelmed. Dutch border police say they found a stowaway in the nose wheel compartment of a Boeing 747 cargo plane that flew to Amsterdam from Johannesburg. They say the unidentified man is now in a stable condition in hospital. Flights to the Netherlands from South Africa usually take around 11 hours and according to one flight data website, it appears to have made a stop in Nairobi. Queen Elizabeth has flown, has flown by helicopter to Sandringham from Windsor Castle, where she's expected to spend the next few weeks. Rising COVID infections meant the traditional family Christmas at her Norfolk estate had to be cancelled as a precaution. The Guardian's front page includes an image of New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern, who has cancelled her wedding as the country is placed under the highest level of restrictions following an outbreak of the Omicron variant.